this video today is mainly for my friend Cassie. I posted like one of my last videos and she commented saying, are you for hire? Almost jokingly. But then she posted a picture of her living room. She said, the white bins are literally just filled with crap. It'd be the equivalent of someone's junk closet. Now, I don't know all of her dreams and ambitions, but I'm pretty sure having her living room as her junk closet is not quite it. And then another friend, Sam, who said it'd be so great to see it decluttered. So this is my challenge that you do this decluttering method and see how it looks and send us a picture afterwards. Today is my better, only better cleaning. I'm going to be cleaning using Dana K. White's method. I make videos on minimalism, decluttering, and simple living. And today we're going to go through my kitchen. Now the method we're going to use to clean up everything is Dana K. White's five-step decluttering process, which I think is called Better Only Better. I might be mistaken there, but basically I'm probably going to get interrupted. I have two-year-old napping, a baby napping, and I only want it to get better. I don't want to have to stop midway and then have something worse off than when I started. So I'm gonna follow those five steps. And even though I'm just cleaning the basic messes of a kitchen, you can use this method wherever. So if you're cleaning up or decluttering all of your cabinets or all that storage next to your entertainment center or uh, just anywhere, you're, you're just gonna do this five steps to declutter your space. And today is a challenge. I'm gonna try and do it in 10 minutes the five steps and we'll get started but I'll just show you the nice before. Five steps for working through an overwhelming mess is from Decluttering at the Speed of Life by Dana K. White and the first step is trash. So trash is easy. I'm going to start by removing the most visible mess just getting getting rid of all the trash that I can see. Now if you're a fan of Dana she knows she always says there's trash there's always trash so just look for trash first even if you don't think there's any there's probably trash and when you're looking for it, you're actually giving yourself like a good look of what's here in the place. You can't really see the timer, but it's going. So I'm gonna look for trash and throw it out. I got my trash. So number two is do the easy stuff. Easy stuff is the stuff that has an established home somewhere else, but for whatever reason, it, it isn't there. This has an established home. This is where I keep all of our nail clippers. Now something that seems really odd about this method is there's still a mess here, but I'm working on making it only better. So I'm actually gonna go run and put this thing away where it goes because if I get stopped, it's better. Just moving those pieces of trash in this makes it a tiny bit better. So even if I can't get through the whole 10 minutes, a little bit, but I'll put this back and continue on with doing the easy stuff. Kids toys. If you have something that goes to the same spot, so the screwdriver is actually in the same room with other pieces you can put them at the same time but don't just make a big pile of stuff because you're going to forget about that pile or you're just going to be overwhelmed by it and probably not do anything so take it there right away but if i'm like i'm heading to the office to put the screwdriver away i can put the screws back and this is on the way over there so i'll put it away as well oh and this i have six and a half minutes left and it's looking a little bit better and i'll keep going at it as a home. This method is really easy. It's super simple, but that's why it works. I love that you can stop at any time. You notice my paper thing is a little bit overwhelming right now, but I'm actually not gonna worry about it because I'm doing all this other stuff. It's not time to clean when you're decluttering. They're two separate things. If I started cleaning, I'd be stuck on that for like the rest of the day. So when you're decluttering, just declutter. I mean, you can clean when you have like an empty cupboard or something, but don't like start cleaning everything if that's not your goal. I just remembered this method I'm using, Dana K. White. It is really good for this, but today for some reason, well actually I was just busy doing another video on my watercolor tutorial thing, but I actually didn't do the dishes and Dana K. White says, do the dishes, when you do the dishes, you're not overwhelmed. I don't have like a ton, there's a few in the sink and a cutting board, but the whole dishwasher's full, so I'm going to do that. And I have four minutes left, so hopefully I have time for it all. Seven cutting boards. I'll probably get down to like nothing less than seven. Enough for fruits and veggies and one for me. I think I'm going to go back to six minutes on the clock, which is I believe where it was. 
and then do the other stuff besides just the dishes. Um, so I'll put it back, I'll fast forward that, and there's our timer. Step number three is duh clutter. It's like the duh that you see I put away. Duh, that's donatable. So that's this cup, which was already in the donation bin, taken out so our sister could use it, but I do not need it in my house. Duh, it needs to go and be donated. So I'm going to put it in my donatable donate box right now. Donatable donate box is important because when it's something like a laundry basket, you're gonna have to go through it twice. And I don't wanna have to think about this cup ever again. I want it to be in there and just be gone. <laughs> so you want your donation bin to be something that you can just give away and not have to take back and go through it again. Same thing with the trash. You really want a black trash bag when you're getting rid of stuff. I'm not gonna try and save like a used Kleenex, but if I had something I donated or threw out that I wasn't really sure and I'd want to steal out of the trash bag. You don't want that. You don't want people around the house to be like, oh, that's my favorite toy. Just put it inside a black garbage bag. So uh, I didn't do that now, but make sure you do it if you want to have the best success. So the two decluttering questions, let's got my headphones, is if I needed this item, where would I look for it? If I needed headphones, I actually plug my headphones in uh, to my piano, to my keyboard, so I can listen to it when I'm playing and want to be quiet. So I would look for it in that little container next to my piano. But I've been using it when I edit videos as well, so it's kind of a weird spot. But if I needed it, I would just go look there first. Even if it doesn't make sense, that's where you want to put it so you actually have it there when you look. And then question two is, if I needed this item, would it occur to me that I already had one? Yes, it would. If I needed headphones, I wouldn't go buy some more. I would know that I have some. So I'm gonna go ahead and run those over real quick. Sorry for saying real quick every single time I leave the camera. This is my new hard drive. If I needed it, I need to think of a good space for all my like computer stuff, but I would just look inside that command center with my notebook and where I keep my laptop too. So I'll just go bring it there. This is a fancy new pen that my sister Aaliyah just got me. I definitely don't need it in my everyday. If I were to look for it, I would look in my art bag. So I'm just gonna go move it to my art bag. Oh, but before I go, I would also look for my paintbrushes and everything with my art supplies so I could put those. <laughs> Neil was just playing with his crayons today and uh, we got this really cool pouch. But what's neat is he actually puts almost every one of them back every time until he gets frustrated, but he just had one sitting out, which is like pretty good. And I do like that it's only like 12 crayons and not like the 150 pack that gets spewed throughout the house. So I'll put that back away from him. And the last concept is make it fit. So apply the container concept to the space where you're working. So consolidate and purge down the limit of containers. So I'm putting these away. This is where I keep my pens er, and pencils. It's getting pretty tight, so I could put them in. It's not like really comfortable because it's so tight. So if I were to remove some to make room, I would just focus on keeping my favorite ones and getting rid of the ones that I find I don't really reach for, I don't like as much if I do grab them accidentally, and make room for what you actually use. She said, I'm the worst for just in case I might need it. You don't need all those just in case items. The minimalist, they sometimes go by this rule that if it's under 20 bucks, just get rid of it and you can replace it. Now 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, it adds up. But once you get rid of it, you'll probably notice you don't need most of it. Since I've decluttered so much, the only things I really regret getting rid of, not even regret, but just needed to rebuy, was bobby pins. Because I cut my hair short enough, I needed bobby pins. And we bought a coffee maker, but that was just because we wanted a different kind eventually. But we went like a year without the standard coffee maker. But that's it. Like we got rid of like over half our stuff and barely missed any of it. I would recommend getting rid of as much as you can because I've seen the freedom and the like the weight lifted off my shoulders when I got rid of all that extra stuff. And I hope that helps you out as well. And you're able to feel that permission that you can let go. The worst that happens, you have to rebuy it. But the best that happens is it's easier to clean your house. You're able to spend more time with family. You feel more peaceful. And uh, you don't have to think about it anymore because it's gone. I wanna say thank you guys for everyone who's watched my videos. I've had a few people reach out saying like, I'm in the same stage as you, I have kids, how do you keep it clean? Or 
what are the benefits? Or how do you start this channel? Or here's a picture of my kitchen, what would you do? And it's been so exciting. So my hope is if you're enjoying this, will you please, please share? Word of mouth is the best way for me to get uh, as many people as I can help as possible. So if you have someone you know that like is in desperate need of decluttering, you can take them in the video below or send them that. But if you just take a screenshot and put my name on it, it helps grow the channel a ton. So thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon.